If you've ever watched the Mortal Kombat Legacy series, you probably have an idea about how the Cyber Lin Kuei ninjas were cyberized in the so-called Cyber Initiative project. It shows that the Grand Master gives the command to convert the entire Lin Kuei clan into cyber killing machines by outfitting his assassins with robotic castings, meaning that they retain their memories and their bodies within. However, the Cyber Initiative is depicted very differently in Mortal Kombat 11 and I will show you how in today's episode. But before that, you should learn about Amino. It's an app that allows you to share your interests with everyone online. While I was searching for Mortal Kombat content the other day, I came across this artist who makes tutorials showing how to make cosplays of Kitana, Melina and even Scorpion. I really never thought that a female version of Scorpion would look that sexy, wouldn't you agree? If you're into all that stuff and more, simply download the app through the link provided in the description below and please don't forget to check out my page at GameLution. So the way the Cyber Initiative is depicted in Mortal Kombat 11 can be seen in the background of the Cyber Link Way Assembly Arena but not the entire process is visible to the players. Hence, we have to move the camera around to see what is actually going on. The most obvious step happens right across from the players and it shows how the brain is being deposited into the already finished cyborg before it is sent away for testing. But in order to know whether the machine contains a body within or not, we have to look at the process from the very beginning which starts right here. As we have seen in previous episodes, many things that happen outside of the player's perspective, they just spawn out of nowhere and this case is no different. The machine spawns with the cyborg's torso and head already attached, before going to the second step where the legs and arms get installed. The third step simply involves soldering everything together as you can see right here. Lastly, this is the most important step because the machine is given life by having a human brain deposited into its head. Now where did the brain come from you may ask? Well, the next step shows exactly that, but I have to warn you guys, the scenes that you are about to see are a bit shocking. This said, if you go inside the hidden room on the left side of the stage, you can see two giant saw machines that split open two human beings for their brain and spinal column to be extracted and eventually placed into the robots. There is literally an entire process that is taking place in this room, so I don't really know why the Netherrealm Studios decided to hide it in the background when there are many things interesting to look at that are going on in here. Out of curiosity, I wanted to see where the brainless bodies go when they are thrown away by the machines into that hole and as you may have expected, uh, they just stay there for a while before they eventually disappear. As for where the bodies come from, uh, they simply spawn randomly on the beds and the same process keeps on going on and on and on until you're done playing the game. Now if you look closely, you can see the Lin Kuei logo engraved on the beds and that is because these victims are not regular human beings. They are actually former Lin Kuei members that were kidnapped at the command of the Grand Master, as Sub-Zero explains it in the story mode. The old Cyber Lin Kuei factory was defunct, buried beneath this quarry. Until the time disruption. Now, Sector's returned and reactivated it. He's building an army by processing Lin Kuei warriors kidnapped from my temple. I can see why you need me. So what do you guys think of the retold version of the Cyber Initiative project? Which one do you think is better, the one that was depicted in the Mortal Kombat Legacy series or the one in MK11? Let me guys know in the comment section below. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Game Lucian.